and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I've got one item of yarn which I've bought which I actually want your opinion on and some finished objects to share with you. So first of all I want to show this poncho. As you know I love a poncho. It's just a two panel poncho. The wool was bought for me by my boss for my birthday or Christmas. I can't remember which one. My birthday's in December that's why I get, get a bit confused. Um, it is Adria Phil Zebrino and um, it's eight balls of wool and in five different colorways. So they all have this gray running through them and each individual ball has a different color. So one's green, one's purple, one's pink, one's red, one's orange, etc. So this is it. So this is, and what I like about this is, this is one side of it, which has got quite a lot of the blues, greens and purples. But then if I turn it around, so you can wear it one way or the other. I then have more of these sort of oranges and peaches. And so it's just a completely different colorway. How cool is that? How cool is that? And um, this is just, I think it's, is it a one row repeat or a two row repeat? I'll leave a link below to the lady on YouTube where I followed her tutorial. So yes, yeah, so this is my first finished object. So the next finished object is another poncho. This is it here. This is just a granny square poncho. And the yarn came from AliExpress. And it's like the, the velvety chenille sort of yarn. And it's in this lovely teal colour. Now this is the second of these that I've made. The first one was using Aldi yarn, which is slightly uh, thicker. And I used a size 7 mil hook. And it's lovely, and I love it, and it's soft and squishy. But I wanted to make another one that wasn't as loose and holy. I wanted it to be a bit tighter if that's the right thing. So this one, the wool is slightly thinner than the Audi one uh, and I used a six and a half mil hook and um, I really made sure that I was like tight on the stitches, really pulled them and I think it makes, I mean obviously they're, they're the same, the same but different but you can tell just by using a smaller hook and being tight with your work really makes it a lot, you know, reduces the holiness of it. So there we go. So I do love that, I love that colour. And this is just so soft and squishy. And it, it, I think this took just under six balls of wool from AliExpress. And I think the wool was about £9.31 or something like that. So I was very pleased with that. It crochets up so quick, I think I did it in less than a week. So that's lovely. So they're my two, two ponchos, as well as this one. So I'll put that there. So, ooh. so they're my finished objects. This is my work in progress. Now, this yarn I got from AliExpress. I've got about 10 balls of the stuff. It was ridiculously cheap. It was about 30p a ball or something. Not what I would call the softest. Hmm. It's not really rough, but it's not, it's not like baby soft wool. It's not like dreamy. But anyway, look at the colours. The colours are just amazing. So I thought, what am I going to do with this? So um, I, I wanted to make another cowl. And so I looked on YouTube and I think this is called the Lapping Waves Shawl. Yes, I've just double checked and it is called the Lapping Waves Shawl. And I followed a tutorial from Fibre Spider. So I've used... This is the second ball so far, and this is as far as I've got. Now, I love the colours, and I love the pattern and the design. It's just the wool. It's not, it, I can't see that it's going to drape. It just seems a bit hard. Hard. Is that the right word? Hard. It's not very flexible. Maybe as it grows and it gets bigger, it will bend and fold more but at the moment it just seems to like just not move 
I don't know how I feel about that on my neck. I'm not sure. I'm having a not sure moment at the moment, but it's working up lovely. I mean, this is just a two row repeat and it's really, really good. So I'll keep going with it and I'll see what happens. So I'm thinking maybe I should have used a bigger needle, bigger hook. I think I'm using, oh, what am I using? Where is it? Oh, here we go. I'm using a four mil hook. I think maybe if I'd have like used a bigger hook, it would have been more airy and lacy. And I think that would have been better. Maybe it would have draped better. But hey ho, we live and learn, don't we? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The wool was cheap as chips. But I do love that design. So that's that. That's my work in progress. So hopefully next time I see you, I'll be wearing it. Now, this is what I wanted to ask you. This is yarn that I've just received from AliExpress. It cost about 13 pounds, it's a cake. And when I saw it on there, I was like, wow, that is just amazing. You know, it's like then you get it and you're like, oh. And now I'm doubting myself as to maybe, am I being a bit picky? Am I being a bit choosy? So I'm gonna put a picture up now of what I ordered and what I was expecting. And I'm now gonna show you what I received. And you tell me if you think this is the same or not. To, to me, it's, it's not as muted as, as the one from the picture that I saw. Or, or it has the picture had a filter on it? I'm not sure. I, I'm just not sure if this is a copy of it. I, I was expecting it to, I think I was expecting the blue to be a bit more of a baby blue and it looks more of a, well it looks more a bit sort of greeny blue. Not that I mind, because I love mint greens, I've got a mint green car. But let, let me know what you think, should I go back to AliExpress and say it's not the same thing and get a refund, or is it, do you think it is the same and, and really I should just put up and <laughs> get on with it? <laughs> what do you think? I just, it was just as I got it, it was like, oh, oh. Anyway, so that's why I'm asking you because I, I, need, I need a second opinion. I need to know if I'm overreacting or uh, if it is really the same. And I'm sure it will just crochet up beautifully, absolutely beautifully. I'll leave a link to it down below as well. When I got it, it was just over 13 pounds, but I think they're more now. And there are lots of different colors. I was just, I'm just now a bit dubious as to whether I'd order an, I'll order another one because it might not look exactly the same. And I tried reverse um, Google, reverse imaging the pictures to see, you know, if they, they were copied from somebody else, but I couldn't find anything. But let me know what you think. Anyway, so that's all I've got to show you is just the one thing gorgeous little thing that it is but not quite what I was expecting and uh yeah thanks for watching please let me know what you think of the wall and any of my th the things that I've made it's so nice to be here and to see you all and to chat right okay I'm off out now I'm having a lovely lunch with my friend Lisa so I'll catch up all with you soon take care bye for now bye